All right, Matt, it is National Tattoo Day, and boy, are we celebrating in a big way. One of our producers, Angel, is going to get all tatted up this morning. Oh, my God. She's getting a tattoo. <laughs> yep, the man behind the needle is Julian Gladness from Revolution, Inc. Angel, what are you thinking? Have I'm you lost your mind? Maybe just a little. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is awesome. Uh, okay, so you want to get a Nick Saban tattoo on your arm. Is that what you're telling yep. us? Full portrait. Full yes. Portrait. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're going with something simple. Can you kind of tell us what you're going to get? Yeah, so I'm getting a letter E for my cat's Enzo and Ezra. Oh, perfect. Yep. I mean, are you, are you nervous? You got an audience you're about to do this? You know what? I've, I've done it so many times. I think it's just kind of... One of, the, one of the things I do, so no. Nah. That's just your thing. How yeah. long have you been doing tattoos? I'm about 15 years now. 15 years. I bet you've seen some crazy stuff. Yeah, I've seen some things, <laughs> man. I've seen some things. Do you see? Do you have people come in with some pretty messed up tattoos? Yeah, you know, you know, they, they don't think they messed up at the time, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty bad. Oh, excuse me, look at out of the way. Uh, all right, so walk us through. What are you doing right now to get her ready? Uh, it's just a, 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 a my freehand process. I go in with a marker first and kind of just sketch things out, and now I go back in with a pen and kind of just define things and then that's pretty much it just kind of a, a simple two-step process now when when they come in like angel do you talk to them and say are you sure this is what you want and the reason why I ask I got a tattoo like 25 years ago I was in Mardi Gras and <laughs> maybe I wasn't in the right frame of mind to get this and I kind of regret it do you try to talk do you have a conversation with folks I do crazy part about that I used to tattoo in New Orleans ironically you might have done it yeah it's crazy <laughs> but yeah um, I actually do I, I did when I first started out but now I kind of you know all right is it sensible you know I don't judge the ideas but at the same time is the placement right is the size right yeah you know is the design right? make sure they're clear in the head yeah yeah okay all right so what's next what are we doing next here? I'm about to define this E a little bit okay. more of this pen Kind of, kind of straighten, make sure everything's good. What are you thinking right now? I'm thinking, I'm excited. <laughs> it's looking pretty good so but far. But you've got a couple tattoos, right? I do. I have three. Did they hurt when you got them? Um, you know, two of them did. One of them, not so bad. I think it gets so better. Bad. Yeah. Well, what about the right here? The more I get, the easier it gets. So. You think this spot will be? I mean, I don't want to stare, but is this one gonna? Is that a painful area? Oh uh, no, nah, it's not. It's not too bad. This is one of the spots, especially on the arm. It doesn't get too bad on the arm. Oh my gosh. All right, once you get a tattoo, Julian, what can we do to protect them? Because they do fade, and if you're not careful, they, they're, they're not going to look as good. They do, they do. Uh, you know, direct sunlight and tanning is an enemy to tattoos. As much as we want our skin to look good and toned, um, putting the ink in that direct sunlight can have an effect on the aging of our tattoos yeah. and how the aging, how the color breaks down. And also, um, you know, get aftercare and stuff like Lubriderm lotion and, and, and stuff like that. Do your research first. Yeah. On Amazon, do stuff. Um, do your research on that, and then you know we provide something called Second Skin. It's it's a little new technology. You put yeah. it on there, you can let it sit for like three to five days, and you don't have to worry about taking care of it until, until you take it off. So there's a lot of new technology out there for aftercare that makes sure tattoos heal vibrant. You just have to do your research and go out there and make sure you. Buy do you have any advice for people with different complexions of skin? Should you go color? Should you go dark? What What do you recommend for folks? Okay, so. Um, darker, the darker the skin is, the bigger the design and the bigger the contrast. You can't show as many of those small details, but you can't show detail. You just have to have a, have a trade off for it. So you got to know somebody who's used to tattooing on different um, skin color. And, All right. Yeah, okay, so. you got some amazing tattoos. What is it, man? What 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 is it about getting tattoos? Is it the thrill of getting it? Is it having it later? Uh, it's 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 more of the no, not the thrill of getting. It. They still hurt. They hurt. They still they still hurt. <laughs> but um, Don't worry, it's, Angel. It's more it's more the, the memento of having them on me forever. Um, a lot of these things mean a lot to me. Um, of course, my mom right here, you yeah. know, and little different tattoos and stuff mean a lot to me. So it's right. it's stuff I remember for the rest of my life. All right, well, you get started, and right. Jeremy, do we want to come back and check on her later? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna let you do the tattoo, then we'll come back and see if uh, Angel hasn't passed out yet. Great. Okay. <laughs>